Hey guys, I'm um, having another dream uh, to share with you. I know I haven't been uh, making making these videos making uh, for quite some time. Um, I do have a lot of dreams written down and type type typed up, but I still and I still haven't made any videos for them. But I'm gonna try to knock out a couple this month. Okay, but here's one I have here. Um, I titled this dream "The Lying Spirit in the Church." Okay, I had this dream uh, July. 28th and 2013 okay uh, it's gonna be pretty short um, in the dream I was in a room where where a bunch of church folks were about to meet and there were some there were some words on a board in this room where the people were about to meet um, before everyone came to the room I saw someone go over to go over to the board and erase the words that were on the board and then write down something else in its place. I then knew, in, my, in the dream, I then knew that some something was wrong. I saw someone, I saw someone, and I knew that he wasn't what he appeared to be. So I, I asked him to say something along the lines of, um, "Jesus is my Lord and Savior," or something to that effect, to prove that he was false. But he couldn't say it. He could. He could say everything else I asked him to say, but he couldn't say a part about Jesus being his Lord and Savior. I then knew that it was a lying, deceiving spirit in the church. I showed the people, that the people, the, the church people that were supposed to meet in the room. I showed the people that 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 there were there was a lying spirit. In the church and then this the lying spirit then left the church he got in the van and he drove away and that was the that was the end of the dream a very direct dream right to the point about a lying spirit being in the church so um you know you know in these last days there are a lot a lot of lying spirits in the church i'm sure we all know that that's why it's very important for us to uh, pray for discernment and not even pray for discernment but just read our bibles okay to know the word the word says instead of uh, listening, uh, just blindly following um, the pastors and the preachers and, and, and the so the so called prophets. Okay, and the devil is very slick. He's been around for thousands of years and he knows how to make everything look look and sound good. But um, when you match it up with the word and with what and, and with what the Holy Spirit says, you'll see that it's false. So whenever you listen to anyone. Um, Pastor, preacher, someone telling you a dream, always ask the Lord to give you discernment or uh, to reveal to you if, if what this person is saying is true. Or just use the word. You know, use the word. If, if what he's saying does not line up with the word of God, the Bible, then you know it's true. Okay? Um, you know, I think there's a verse There's a verse in the Bible that says, you know, I, when, when God says, I put my word above my name, I don't have the exact verse. Okay? I, I'll probably put it on, on the screen here. Um, I believe what that means is if someone comes to you and says, you know, God says this, God says that, um, it's up to us now to use the word and look, look, and look it up, match it, match it against the word. And if it doesn't line up with what the word said, then, then this person using God's name isn't isn't true. You know, some people will use, will use God's name for, for everything. Okay. So he said, I put my word above my name. So. When when you, when, it, when it comes down to the you know someone using the name of God or His Word, um, when it comes down to someone using the name of God to, to say you know so God said this, God said that, uh, and that, and and if the Word says differently, then we go with the Word. Okay, I put my he said I put my Word uh, above my name. Okay, so um, that's it. I'm gonna try to make another video, hopefully tonight or this week. Okay? Alright, bye.